Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this one we're going to be taking a look at my fastest LEGO engine yet. I have successfully done it, I have made an engine that can go faster than any engine that I have seen on YouTube. I'm really excited to show you this, and before we start I'd like to point out that I have actually given this engine a name, and that name is the Black Hole Machine. You know why I call that? Because it spins so fast it could create a black hole. And I know that's an exaggeration, but still, it's suiting. And I think you can agree. But also, um, announcement, we have a Discord. So, link in the description, you can go check that out and join. You can talk to me personally, as well as everything but mechanics, slushy 10 and a bunch of other YouTubers that also do LVE videos. So yeah, um... I'm going to run this engine for you, it's going to be a quick video, I'm going to put it on max throttle more than once, and I'm going to rev it, it also sounds really cool, and in my next video I'm going to be showing practical uses that you can do for your vacuum engine. So anyway, without any further talking or anything, let's show you the engine. I've got my flashlight on for better visibility of the piston in here. You also notice that I have a reinforcement beam so that it doesn't blow up and blow off. Don't need that to happen. So yeah, here we go. crazy. I don't want to run it for too long, just in case anything breaks. It's cool because this thing actually stops, stops spinning before or after the vacuum start stops. Which is weird, because perfect representation of how smooth running it is. But yeah, like I said, I was very excited to make this video. And I do plan to do a couple more videos about this engine. I just wanted to point out the fact that I have successfully made one of the fastest engines I've ever seen on YouTube. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I have never seen another engine that would be faster than this. And I have no actual way to measure it. Unfortunately, measure the RPM. I don't have a tack on or in my possession. Um, I am researching on how to cheaply measure RPM, but that will be a video for the future. I will definitely save this engine, and I promise I will do more oscillating engine content in the future. I know I sus kind of suspended that topic, but yeah, um, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments and praise or suggestions or anything ask me questions i always read the comments and yeah so that's gonna do it for today hope you enjoyed